a fairly profound comment, which was, you know, it's a lot simpler in life if you just have one identity and you concentrate your efforts in this authentic identity and you just let it all hang out there. But there is a decision point for us. Are there some parts of our life that we are going to wall off and compartmentalize? If you're trying to build a PR agency and you really are into Farmville, you might not want your clients to know that. You know, how do you get that done? Do you create a whole separate Facebook account that's your Farmville account? Or do you have, you know, but you have Farmville friends, you know, and how do you wall them off from that? You know, this gets complex in some cases. Uh, what you do with your Facebook account can get complex. Because are you using it, at, like Flickr, primarily, to show off what you're doing in your social life? Or are you using it to, to build business relationships? Or are you trying to straddle and do both? Straddling's hard. Um, my Facebook account tends to be somewhat more business skewed. Uh, I have a former partner whose Twitter account is, a, in my mind, is a mess. You know, he's got, uh, it's not a number, it's not really a followers count, but he's got something like 400 followers and 7,000 tweets. And 5,000 of the 7,000 tweets are about the University of Texas Longhorns. And about 1,500 to 2,000 of the tweets are really good SEO stuff. Well, it's kind of lost in the middle of the noise. And let, I mean, he, I, I'm sure he does really, really well in the universe of people who are rabid Longhorns fans who also care about SEO. There are a lot of Longhorns. In fact, there are a lot more Longhorns fans, most like, more likely, than people who rapidly care about SEO. But how do you balance that? You know, do you divide your efforts and have a personal one and a business one? Or do you figure out how to do, you know, how to do both of them? 